Electrolysis. Lots of people telephone my clinic and ask about electrolysis. You know, over the past few years, we've been doing a lot of laser with people and IPL. And of course, that's very popular and very, very useful in areas where there's lots of hair that needs removing or reducing. But nothing has surpassed electrolysis. Once you remove a lot of the hair and calm it down with the laser or IPL, then you need to permanently remove it. And nothing permanently removes hair like electrolysis. It's been used for over a hundred years and it's still very effective. And people wonder what the procedure is. So I'm going to show you a little. This is the wand we use and it is attached to a particular machine that helps a current come through and heat come through to kill the hair bulb, the hair root. And every time we do a treatment, we use a new sterile needle, a new sterile needle for every treatment, for every client. And we use different size needles according to the size of the hair follicle that we use. And of course, that would have gloves on doing this normally, surgical gloves. And it's done in very sterile circumstances. And the needle is tiny. It's really, really tiny. And there's very, very fine gold ones. And there are some stainless steel ones. And we take off the cap. And then we have a very, you won't see it there because you're quite a way away, but we have a very, very, very fine needle here. And we insert it into the hair follicle and every single hair follicle. So when it's inserted in, the current, the heat travels down the very fine needle to the bulb of the hair. Now, we use different size needles for different size hairs. And also, we use uh, different currents for different people and different hairs because everybody's hair is different and everybody's resistance, what we call resistance of the hair, is different. So we have to find the right heat, the right current for your particular hair so that we can kill the hair bulb. And it's not particularly the machine, although the machine is quite important when doing electrolysis, it's the skill of the operator the skill of the operator in that they're very well trained and, the, and of course we are members of the Aestheticians Association and so that they're very well trained and that they can see each follicle and go through each follicle. Sometimes I'm asked about multiprobes and I personally don't use multiprobes because the heat that goes into the follicle at that particular time, if you have multiprobes in, it can distort the hair follicle, the, the whole follicle. And I like to treat every individual hair separately so we can slide the needle in cauterize the root and slide it out again. So afterwards, the skin is in good condition. 20, 30, 40 years time, you haven't got very pockmarked skin. You've got good conditioned skin. So electrolysis is as relevant today for permanent hair removal as it was 100 years ago. It's as effective today as it was 100 years ago. And of course, we do small red veins as well with electrolysis when people cannot have laser or perhaps those veins may not be suitable for laser. So it's still a very, very good tool for permanent hair removal. Sometimes laser fails for some people or even in some cases it may increase hair growth. So I see so many people and if you've got white hair, laser or IPL isn't going to help you, but electrolysis will.
it can permanently remove that hair of course the the facial hair and sometimes parts of the body as well depending on what's right for you so do give it a try electrolysis is as good today as it was a hundred years ago and it's an amazing way to permanently remove hair growth take care for now see you later